This is a Tentec 509 Argonaut. I purchased this radio in the mid 70s. It's a QRP classic. Puts out 2 to 3 watts on 80 through 10 meters, 5 bands. A 7, 14, 21 megahertz, and 10 meters. Now I know what you're thinking. Tentac did not make a 509D with a digital display. So I made this digital display myself. It uh, took a bit of doing. It's a very small module fit inside the radio. And it has some neat features I'd like to show you. Let's take a look under the hood. So, I'm going to move the little cover here for the circuit board. And you'll see we have a, uh, a PIC 16F628 microprocessor chip, a bunch of resistors, have a 4 megahertz crystal, Underneath that crystal is a 74HC uh, 100 surface mount part that's used to condition the input signal for the counter. One of the features of this uh, radio is a uh, receive incremental tuning. It's called offset here. You enable it and you can uh, tune about a frequency by a few kilohertz. Now what I did is I uh, took and I wired that circuit through this switch over here so that in one position it works as the radio was designed to work and you switch it to the other position and it locks the frequency of the radio using a pulse width modulated output of the PIC processor. The uh, pulse width modulated output to uh, hold the radio on frequency is a, uh, a circuit that has a very, very slow time constant. So any changes in the output voltage coming out of the pick uh, gets applied to the radio very slowly. So it's really designed to correct frequency drift due to heating or cooling. And it's not really designed to correct if you should bump the radio and knock it off frequency, but just for a demonstration, we'll bump the radio and knock it off frequency and you'll see it actually cracked back on frequency. And this uses a type of control called PID control, although there's no D, no differential term in the control. It just uses a proportional and an integral for the correction. Right now it's making a fairly large correction, I can tell by the display. And that's the proportional correction. And pretty soon it'll uh, return to a smaller correction which is using the integral term basically is how it works and eventually that will come back on frequency there were some interesting uh, design problems to solve in making the circuit one of them being if you really want to uh, lock on a frequency exactly When you click the switch, it actually changes the voltage to the oscillator. And it doesn't really lock on that signal that we're tuned into. Instead, it locks to the nominal voltage, which would be back where this offset was zero. So what I did was a resample feature. Put the switch down, it samples again. When it goes blank, flip the switch back. And eventually this will correct back to where you actually want to be. Another uh, design uh, challenge was uh, building the circuit small enough to fit in that space. Uh, 
We had to make a few changes to the radio. We had to uh, take out the dial lights that were uh, right in here basically and they're shown on the slide rule dial. And I cut the plexiglass cover for the radio so this uh, circuit would take up the space basically that was kind of dead space, space in behind the, the bezel there. So all in all it works pretty well and I'm very pleased with it actually. And we'll dress it up again and there you have it.